uh, washed up actor. Um, he was gonna die a lonely, a fat, lonely old man. The defamation trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard just finished its first week, and there have already been some surprising revelations. The therapist for the couple, as well as Depp's sister, have both testified. According to sources, another significant development at the trial is that Heard's companion has been barred from entering the courtroom. According to reports, Amber Heard's close friend, British music journalist Eve Barlow, was banned from testifying in the Depp trial. The judge reportedly caught Barlow texting and tweeting from the front row of the courtroom, prompting the court to ban her. Eve allegedly attempted to intervene in the trial over Depp-friendly witness Gina DeTutors. Eve Barlow appears to believe she's a member of Amber's legal team. Depp's attorneys had had enough and had her removed from the courtroom. According to the article, the court transcript shows the judge referencing Barlow tweeting and texting from the courtroom, adding that it's against the court order and she will not be able to enter the courtroom for the duration of the trial. Three weeks have passed since Depp's defamation trial against former partner Heard began. Jurors in Fairfax, Virginia have observed as opposing sides aided by a slew of witnesses, including cops, psychologists, and Mr. Depp himself had painted two remarkably different pictures of the couple's four years together. Both sides have leveled graphic claims of verbal and physical violence. Both Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard have denied any wrongdoing. But according to Ryan Baker, a Los Angeles attorney who's represented clients in defamation disputes, one party, Mr. Depp, has been more forceful so far. He explained that this is by design. Since Depp is up first, it's not surprising that things are currently tipping in his favor, he said. When Ms. Hurd's team takes over, jurors will likely hear a new story in the following days. The ongoing trial began when Depp sued Heard for an op-ed she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018 about surviving domestic violence. Depp has made some shocking claims in his defamation case against Heard. During his statement in court on Wednesday, the actor said that his ex-wife would threaten to kill herself after they got into explosive arguments. Ms. Heard has spoken of suicide on a couple times, the actor stated in court on Wednesday for its ongoing liable trial against his ex-wife. Of, of suicide on a couple of occasions, so th that also becomes a factor. It, it, that's, that's also something that, that always lives in the back of your brain and uh, you, that you fear. That's always something in the back of your brain that you fear. Depp continued by saying that whenever he tried to leave, Heard would stop him and tell him she would die without him. Many times when I would try to leave, she would stop me at the elevator with the security guards, screaming, crying, I can't live without you, Depp continued. I'm going to die, but you had to get out. Heard would follow Depp home, even late at night, when he was able to escape, according to Depp. Heard had a stern expression on her face while Depp presented part two of his testimony on Wednesday. She's yet to respond to the most recent allegations in court. Depp alleges that Heard had faked abuse charges in order to obtain a large divorce payment, which has damaged his career. Heard, on the other hand, has maintained that she told the truth and has filed a countersuit against Depp for $100 million. There are various instances where Amber has lied about being abused in order to sway the case in her favor. She accused Depp of assault and said that she suffered from black eyes, lips, and a broken nose. The photographs of her injuries are all over the internet. Chu, who's Depp's attorney, claims that when the LAPD arrived at the scene of the alleged beating, they found no injuries on Miss Heard and no disruption of the penthouses. Miss Heard and her friends then fabricated photos that she used to obtain an ex parte TRO, temporary restraining order, and a $7 million divorce settlement that Miss Heard falsely testified she gave to the ACLU and, more scandalously, the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, sick children with cancer, Chu stated in his filing. He went on to say that the LAPD disavowed the photographs and claimed that they did not depict what they observed. Chu argued that prior pictures sent to Depp's legal team lacked metadata, making it impossible for their expert, Brian Neumeister, to verify the details. Mr. Neumeister's preliminary investigation suggests that many of the photographs were edited with a photo editing tool called Photo3. 
that can quickly manipulate images, such as presenting injuries when none were actually present, Chu added. During the trial, Hilda Vargas, a housekeeper who's worked for Depp for 30 years, also testified. In her statement, Vargas also alleged that she'd often heard Miss Heard yell at Mr. Depp and other people. From my perspective, she has a bad temper, and I don't want her to yell at me, she explained. I've worked with Mr. Depp for nearly 30 years, and I've never seen him get physical or yell at anyone. Previously, it was reported that on a Christmas visit to the Caribbean, Heard insulted Depp, calling him washed up and fat and was physically abusive to him. Tara Roberts, Depp's estate manager on a private island in the Bahamas, made the claims via video link in a witness statement in evidence. According to Roberts, who spotted a red swelling gash on Depp's nose, he was screaming and berating her and yelling at her to get away. Depp informed Roberts that Heard had thrown a can of lacquer thinner on his face. Depp, according to Roberts, is an unusually kind man who's never been violent or aggressive with Heard or anybody else. In December 2015, I noticed Amber to my colleagues as a thrower, someone who flung objects, she testified in court. She also stated that she witnessed Heard lunge forcefully at Johnny, pull his hair, and engage in other abusive physical acts against him. Uh, washed up actor, uh, he was gonna die a lonely, a fat, lonely old man. Malcolm Connolly, Depp's longtime bodyguard, and Starling Jenkins, Depp's driver, have both recently testified in court. Amber Heard became ill after eating magic mushrooms and drinking red wine at Coachella, according to Depp's driver. According to Starling Jenkins, the actress went to the music festival and was partying it up with her friends when she became ill. He also testified that during one of the couple's fights, Heard threw Depp's credit cards and cell phone out the window. He claimed she never saw Amber Heard injured, but he did observe injuries on the Pirates of the Caribbean star. It would be scratches on his neck, maybe a fat lip in the corner, security guard Malcolm Connolly testified from England via video link. Connolly stated he had bruises on the eye socket. It became more regular. It didn't happen every week, but it did happen. Jenkins was loyal to his longtime employer, according to Heard's lawyer, who speculated that Heard's pregnant sister, Whitney, was unwell at Coachella despite being sober. When questioned again on redirect, Jenkins claimed that he was aware of the difference. He explained, one is the boss's wife and the other is the boss's sister-in-law. During a massive argument between the troubled couple, Depp's security officer testified that Amber Heard was crazy crazy and fierce. When Depp was filming the fifth edition of the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy in Los Angeles and Australia, Malcolm claims Heard was also courteous to him, but remembered seeing drag-out fights between the two stars. When asked about a particularly brutal fight between the two in March of 2015 in Australia, Connolly stated that he just wanted Depp out of the house. He denied recalling a drunk Depp attempting to urinate in the foyer. When Johnny Depp and Amber Heard filed for divorce in 2017, Ms. Heard publicly stated that she will donate the entirety of her $7 million settlement to charity, half to the Children's Hospital Los Angeles and half to the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU. However, ACLU executive Terrence Doherty testified on Monday that Ms. Heard had given his organization about $1.3 million, including $500,000 from a fund linked to Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, with whom Ms. Heard had a brief relationship. Mr. Doherty claims that the ACLU learned in 2019 that Ms. Heard was having financial difficulties and would be unable to complete the remainder of the pledge. According to Lawrence Cooper, a writer and novelist who's written extensively on celebrity culture, it might be a huge liability in Ms. Heard's case. The entire case is really about Amber Heard's credibility, she said. If Heard's going to lie about something easily verifiable, you have to ask yourself, what else is she lying about? Mr. Doherty of the ACLU also testified on the 2018 Washington Post op-ed at the center of this case, saying that ACLU lawyers assisted in drafting and reviewing of the piece, which was time to capitalize on the buzz around Aquaman, the DC Universe picture starring Miss Heard. Aquaman was planned to be released on December 21st, 2018, which was three days after the op-ed was published. From the ACLU's perspective, Amber's about to receive an incredible amount of press and be in the public eye, Mr. Doherty said. 
So what better a time would it be than now to put out this op-ed so that it generates significant readership about our issues? What do you think about this? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below.